Vivian. I um, created a channel here for you, and I'm going to include the channel link in the description down below. So just go ahead and download it. You'll need Mirth version 352 or greater um, to run this channel. So hopefully, uh, fingers crossed, um, you don't have an older version. Um, if you do, take the XML file that's in there and try to change the version number. And sometimes that works. Um, but hopefully you have 352 or greater. If, uh, if you don't, give, just let me know. All right, so I created this channel called Split D Segments. And so I made an assumption here, um, and I'm hoping it's, it, it's, it's good. So you wanted this message, and you want to split this into three, right? So if you have three VPDs, you want them, each of them to have its own message. So I made the assumption that everything else in the message needs to be copied over to the new message, right? So you want to keep all this. But split this out into a new message with the ZPD segment. So every message I'm creating has this original, has this original, um, these original segments. I'm taking these values and copying it into message one, message two, and message three. So I had I made that assumption, and hopefully that's what you need. But let me show you how I did this. So I'm taking one message here. Gonna run the example so you can see it. This is my sample message. MS8 kid DV1. Right. Yeah. And then three ZPD messages. So I'm gonna take this and when we're done, I'm gonna create one outbound message with three of them. Right? And so what I expect to see is one message with this CPD, one message with that one, and one message with this one. So I expect this. There's a first one, there's a second one, there's a third one, and, and each one has a CPD segment. All right, so let's try this again. Let's give this a shot. All right, so remember I sent in three. Now on the outbound to the down system, we have three. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. Uh, there we go. There's the first one. The value of one. Value one. Awesome. There's one message with that. Here's the second one. The value of two. Right here. Just like here. And then here's a third one with the value of three. And if you come over to mappings, you'll see my string out messages, which is what I'm sending in here. And then this is the array that I'm the, that I've built. Let me take, give you a quick. I don't want to go into too much detail. If you have any questions, just let me know. I don't know. I don't want to assume that you know nothing about Mirth. But first, I get the ZPD count and I store the ZPD segments. So I said, let's go through this message. Tell me how many ZPDs you have. And Put them in an array so I can use them later. Then part step two is I just copy the message. I take this, what's coming in here, and I put it down here. It's the outbound message template. And step three, by this point we have a copy here of a TMP that copies this. One, I loop through the full message and I delete all the ZPDs. So then all I have is this base message. Not that I assumed you wanted in each and every other message. So that's what this does. This takes a template here and it only puts this in here. So by this point we have this. And then we go through and I loop through and I delete them all. Now I'll be here and I'm gonna start to now I'm gonna build a message because really I have now I have this base and all I want to do is add one, you know, you know, and then do it again, and then do it again, and then do it again. So I'm looping through. And here's where I create my new ZPD segment from the array that I was storing. So I'm saying, take this template and give me a new ZPD. And take what was in here and copy it. So 
right? One by one. You can see it's one by one. Two, three, two, three, four, five, da, 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 and I'm doing it there. Then I'm going to the second iteration. I'm saying, all right, look at the array. Now do this all for me again. Right, I'm saying, take this base, and now add the second group you do. And then take this base, and add the third DPD. Now it won't matter how many DPD segments you put in here. As you can see, this is all automated. There's nothing hard coded in here. The only hard coding is a zero, and that's only because you only want one ZPD per message. That's why the zero works. Otherwise, everything else, see the eyes? That's automated. That'll give me, if I have 50 ZPDs, I'm gonna have 50 messages. You know, if I have 60, if I have one, two, three, and I'll show you an example of a couple of, of that, but so I'm building my message right here. If you want to add a fifth, a sixth, there's an F over there or something. You want to add a six, just copy this and change the five to six. Copy this right here and change these to sixes. And that'll grab your ZPD six. Okay. All right. So let's delete this because I don't want, you don't want anything in there because whatever you throw in there, uh, it'll expect that we, we want to. We're actually taking and we're building the TMP message with four each. So we're automating it. Um, we're not doing it, you know, one by one. Um, we're doing one by one, but we're not hard coding it. So here's, here's where I create my ZPD. And again, it's only one ZPD, one per message. And over here, I take my TMP and I turn it to an HL7, which is kind of a, st a string, and I put it. Um, each message, this is actually a message right here. This uh, this contains a full message, and I put it in the array out message. Now I have this variable, and I want Mirth to take that variable right here, and I paste it here, paste it here, and I can call this whatever I want, but I called it the same thing. So this variable will be accessible to me now over here in my destination. See, it's right here. So now my destination, by this point, I have an array of three messages uh, with their each individual ZPDs. And that's what this does. Just goes, this goes through, grabs the messages, and it spits them out into here, into the, into the outbound template. See its destination. You can see how it does it here. And I take that, make sure there are no spaces at the beginning of the end, and I put it into here. So now this will contain three messages for this example, or as many ZPD segments as you've had. All right, so let's go ahead. And I just wanted to show you that code, but also show you if we have others. All right. Well, let's only send two. There we go. Again, my raw had one. Sorry, my raw had two. And by the time I got the destination, I only had one. And what did I send out? Two messages. So what you really want to look at here is I sent this message in with two ZPDs, and I'm sending out two separate messages with the ZPDs. There's value one, there's value two. There it goes, and it works. It looks like one looks like it's gone. I don't know. I want you to see that. So that's it. You can see how we sent we sent two, we sent three, and each instance come down to destination. We see that um, a message with three segments came in, and a message and three different messages went out. So as long as your one message has these ZPDs, 
it it will work i hope that helps let me know if it doesn't let me know if, if you get stuck with anything else but essentially my understanding was one message three messages right each, each one so hopefully that worked for you good luck and uh good question and this this was pretty cool um play around with the channel to, to figure out so you know so you can get an understanding of the code um have fun talk to you later bye